Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this quick tip I want to talk to you about replacing your floor pans on your Volkswagen Beetle and an issue you might run into and that is seat rails. Now we live in the world of aftermarket and of course things just don't want to fit right all the time so what's the topic I want to talk about today? Alright, so we put new floor pans in on this chassis here. It's a 70 chassis. We bought brand new floor pans. Now wherever you get your floor pans from you might run into an issue when it comes down to the seat rails. And what do I mean? Well, let's get a little closer here and I'll show you. Now you see the teeth here that are on these brand new floor pans for brand new rails. An issue you might run into when it comes time to finally attach your seats to the rails. And believe me, it's happened to me before after the car is already put together, seats are already reupholstered, and you want to put your seats into the car. What happens is, you see these teeth here, they're actually a little bit wider than the stock or the original rails, the original teeth that came off the original uh, floor pans. So what happens is, let's come back over here so we can see a little bit better. When you slide the seat frame onto the rails, this catch here is going to have a problem and it's going to jam and this piece right here is not going to be able to go around those teeth and it's not going to lock into place. So now you have a safety issue. If this is not locked into place, you do run the risk of the seat sliding back and forth, say when you accelerate or hit the gas. And you can't have that. You can't be moving on the seat rail as you're driving. And you need this to hold your seat in place. All right, so it's definitely a safety issue. So you could do one or two things. The easiest way, I think, is to get like a grinding wheel, beauty wheel, something like that. Uh, sanding wheel, something to the, of that nature, and you make the opening here a little bit bigger, okay? But you also have to shave this top part here and this back part here, because it has to fit in between the other teeth as well. So everything's got to either, this has to get shaved down and these have to get opened more. Now, some people might not want to do this to the original uh, rails, or original seat frame rather, and they wanted to maybe do it to the teeth. You could do that. You could come down over here and start shaving these teeth a little bit thinner so that mechanism can pull down and go around the teeth here. So one little silly thing I wish they would correct. It's just slightly off. It's just slightly too big and that mechanism will not press down when it comes to uh, locking your seat frame in place. And you definitely need to do that, guys, because that's a safety feature there. So um, that's, just, that's that quick tip for today. Um, if you guys have any questions or you want to comment below, uh, definitely open to that. If anybody's got any other suggestions, we are open to hear it. So, uh, but yeah, just open these up a little bit more and it should be able to go around the teeth. Now, definitely want to do this before your seats are all painted, are all upholstered, so when you're doing this, it's definitely good when you have the body off. If you do have a body off, you can you know, definitely test the seat back and forth on the rail prior to things being put back together because when the body's on, sometimes it can be a little problematic getting in and out of the car and trying to wedge the seat back. And you don't want the seat to be reupholstered. God forbid you, you slip, you rip, you rip something and you tear something. Um, and then after you shave this all down and open, these, open the, uh, the pieces here, then you can spray paint or powder coat your seat frames, whatever you'd like to do. So, okay guys, that's that quick tip. Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com or visit my website, www.ClassicVWBugs.com. Take care.